Hey guys, I thought I'd take you along on my most recent project. I'm making a decorative insert for my clear phone case, which I just bought. I'm just using the template that came with it as a stencil for the phone case. Now I'm just grabbing a piece of mixed media paper that I'm gonna trace my stencil slash template of my iPhone insert onto. Now, my stencil wasn't particularly precise, but it was something like 11.30 p.m., so nothing was particularly precise tonight. Um, but here I'm just cutting it out um, with my very dirty shears, which I apologize for how dirty they do look. Now I'm just sticking it into the clear phone case that I bought to make sure that it actually does fit and it was good enough. And now I have to go ahead and cut out that little camera area one more time. Now came time to draw what was in my head. I wanted to do some mountain peaks, um, and so I started kind of tracing them out, but it decided that these ones were too pointy and erased those ones and then started again with some new ones. I do like the Grand Teton look, but I wanted something that wasn't as pointy for this particular project. I decided that these ones were also too pointy and ended up erasing those as well, but third time's a charm and I decided to just go with it even though these ones were also a little bit too pointy for my liking, but it was something like 11.45 at night and I wasn't going to argue with my sleepy self. Here I'm just drawing out some little shadow areas for the sides of the mountain. Now it's time to paint. I'm using the Apple Barrel acrylic paints in the colors Admiral Blue, Wild Iris, and Cameo Pink. I'm going for a dusk type galaxy sunset. So I'm starting at the top with some Admiral Blue um, to kind of do the darkest part of the sky. And then I'm going in with Wild Iris to kind of fade into what's going to be the lighter part of the sky where I'm gonna be adding some Cameo Pink. So here's that really pretty cameo pink color that I'm going to have be the lightest part of my sky next to my mountain peaks. Um, and I'm just going to blend it in with the really pretty wild iris purple. Now, I should have just cooled my jets and stopped right there, but instead I kept going with more purple and kind of just ended up screwing this thing up for like 20 minutes and oversaturated my paper just a little bit. But you know what? Art's going to be what it's going to be, and I had a lot of fun nonetheless. Again, I could have stopped right there and it would have been fine and I would have saved myself a lot of the night, but you know what? Art's gonna take you where it's gonna take you.
I ended up actually having a lot of fun seeing the different ways and different shapes that the paint kept interacting with each other. It was a lot of fun to look at and witness, I guess, but it also was like something like, I don't know, one in the morning when this was happening and I was watching soap operas to help keep myself awake. I usually get in a painting zone and kind of just become a zombie in the zone, but this time it was getting pretty late and I was getting pretty tired. Um, nevertheless, I had a lot of fun with it. And it also occurred to me, I don't know how many people do this, but I actually, as you can tell, I kind of watercolor paint with my acrylic paints. I'd love to know what you guys do or what you'd like to see next as well, as far as painting goes. Um, I just think that using acrylic paints to watercolor with, it does dry faster, but you get a really vibrant paint. And it actually isn't the worst thing in the world when it dries pretty quick. I usually paint on canvas, and so I don't really have the problem of it drying too quickly just because a canvas doesn't absorb it as quickly as this mixed media paper does. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Another little fun side note that I thought could be fun to mention is that I do live off grid and if you haven't seen my other video or my first video, I shower off grid in the fall time and it was a lot of fun. I can link that down in the description if you'd like to watch it, um, but I do live off grid in a tiny little cabin and so to use lights, I'm using the light from my cell phone as well as a little battery powered LED light behind me, although that wasn't contributing a lot of light to this particular situation, but I don't have electricity and like I mentioned earlier, I was watching soap operas to help keep myself awake and how I do that is I have an iPad and I use the download feature on Netflix in order to keep myself entertained or as background noise while I paint like this. I've been painting in this style for many, 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 many years. Um, I've just always loved the vibrant, colorful colors. Anything galaxy or space, stars, I've been obsessed with it since I was a tiny, tiny little child. I've always loved astronomy, and so I always kind of gravitated towards that style of painting. I have tried my hand at more natural painting, and it is a lot of fun, and obviously any painting is fun to do, um, but I always kind of gravitate back towards this style of painting. Um, and that's something, you know, I love about art, is that art can be whatever you want it to be, it'll turn out into whatever it wants to turn out into. And I just love that about art. It's so free and fun and can be any style, any way you like it. And um, just let me know what you guys like to see in art and what you gravitate towards. After telling myself that I needed to relax, I decided that that looked quite good and I was happy with it. So I decided now it's time to just trace out the tips of my mountain peaks. So here I am just using the fine tip of a Sharpie pen um, to trace them out. It was actually a pen that was almost out of ink completely. So I had to kind of keep coaxing the ink out of the top, but you know what, it got the job done. Next, I'm just going to draw some diagonal lines down the shadowy mountain part of my mountain peaks. This is a very popular type of mountain to do. I like to do the lines in particular, but some people like to do dots, some people like to do zigzags, some people like to just block out the shadow part completely or just shade it. There are a lot, there's a lot of different options and it's a lot of fun. And I'm also going to add a little bit of texture to the front of the mountain face as well. Now I'm going in to paint some pine trees and I'm taking that same apple barrel acrylic paint in the color black this time to create my pine trees. What I'm doing and how I make them is I make a big long stem or stump up to however long you want to make them and going in a tight zigzaggy pattern you press back and forth with a little dollop of paint on your paintbrush to create this kind of chunky pine tree branch look. Um, I really like the style. I think it looks really cute and it's my go-to for all my pine trees and I try not to stick to any particular pattern with the pine trees as far as their height goes. So that kind of makes it look a little more random. 
Now I'm just gonna go in with some Apple Barrel acrylic in the color white, and I'm just gonna create some pretty exaggerated galaxy stars up in my galaxy-esque dusk sky. Now, as you can see, I also like to add little tiny dots to kind of give the illusion of far away stars that are glowing. And I ended up kind of going in a type of diagonal pattern up um, on my phone case just to kind of make it look like the Milky Way. Obviously, it doesn't look realistic at all, but just to kind of give that feel of when you look up into a dark night sky and you see star clusters, it's so beautiful. And I just wanted to add that as well. I decided that I was satisfied with how it looked and it does look quite cute and there's obviously no limit to the amount of inserts you could do if you buy a clear phone case. Um, it wasn't a perfect fit but it was definitely good enough and I have it on my phone case right now and I think it's quite cute. So here is the finished product. I really love how it turned out actually. Um, it was a lot of fun to make and obviously there's no limit to the amount of inserts you can make on a clear phone case. I've had it on my phone since I made it. It's super fun you guys. You should give it a go. Also if you've watched this far, thank you so much for watching. That's really awesome. It helped me out a lot if you guys would give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And let me know down in the comments below what you guys think and if you give it a try. Thanks again for watching guys.